And I'm going to explain to you what I mean by well-managed. Okay? So out of the 10 farms, two are well-managed and eight were being over-harvested. Next slide. So what is sustainable harvesting? What do I mean when I say to you that there's two sites that are well-managed? So Somaliland has an ancient tradition of harvesting frankincense, right? You know frankincense was brought to baby Jesus. You know that the pharaohs and the queens of Egypt highly prized frankincense. It did not all come from Oman. It came also from the land of Punt, from the Horn of Africa, from Somaliland, from present-day Somaliland and Puntland. The history of managing these trees stretches back centuries. Somalilanders know how to take care of these trees better than anyone else. There have been laws existing on how to manage these trees for centuries. It is only recently that there's been a breakdown of that proper management of the trees. So we're catching it just in time to turn back to the right way to do it. So you have to follow me a little bit on what sustainable management means to understand the full discussion. Traditional knowledge states that there should only be between six and 18 cuts per tree. And that's the wounds that you cut the tree and take the res for the resin to come out. Um, it dictates that the cuts should be made in a shallow way, not too deep into the tree. That there should only be a single period of harvesting in a year, no more than six months. And that trees should be rested after they've been harvested for two consecutive years. They should be rested and not cut for one year. I didn't make these up. These are the here laws that have existed for centuries in Somaliland based on traditional knowledge of your grandfather's grandfather's grandfather's. Next slide. So when we say well-managed trees, we can see beautiful canopies, lots of leaves, healthy trees. Look at the leaves on this tree, vibrant and green. Every branch has leaves. The trunk of the tree is clean. This is well-managed location. This is one of the well-managed locations that we visited. Next slide. This is a well-managed tree that is being actively harvested. And if you see, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cuts on this tree, more or less. It's well-managed, it's not dying. It's tree, it's happy. It wants to give resins and it wants to stay alive. And so this tree is being very well-managed. Next slide. So when I say unsustainable practices, or I say areas that are not well-managed, I want you to understand what I mean by that. So this picture should start to show you what I mean. This tree is severely overwounded. I, I can barely count how many cuts are on this tree. Now, just because it has several branches, it's one tree. It's one tree with over, probably over 100 cuts. This is not sustainable. This tree will not live very long. They, this was just done to this tree for the second time. And so we predict this tree won't make it much longer. So unsustainable practices are over wounding the tree, over cutting it, cutting too deeply, right? Um, removal of the bark. You know, the bark of the tree is like your skin, right? If we cut your skin, if my skin is cut too many times and too deep, I'm gonna get sick. It's the same thing for a tree. These trees are not being rested 12 months a year. If the rains do not come, 
they will continuously harvest this tree until it dies. Because if you do this nonstop for 12 months, this tree will die. Harvesting beyond grade one and two, and overall, it will lead to a decrease of quantity and quality of resins over time. It will lead to a decrease in quality and quantity of resins if you do this. This only gives you short-term gain, short-term profit. You get a lot in year one and two, and then it starts to drop off. So this is what we say, this is not sustainable. This is not sustainable. Okay. We've also seen the tapping of trees that are too young. They're too young. The HERE laws and the scientific knowledge places a tree at about 40 years old when it's ready to be harvested. This is the result of over-harvesting. This is the result of over-wounding and not resting the trees. They can't survive. They become susceptible to hot egg, which is a pest. They become susceptible to being blown down in windstorms and just literally drained of their vitality. So you see the difference. I hope you can see for you. I know many of you are business students and this is new for you, but I think you can see that this tree really has no leaves left on it. It's dying and the one next to it is dead. Next slide. So what are the social impacts of this? 